Built in 1967, the main chapel at the Immaculate Conception Center sits in the heart of the Douglaston campus. To learn about its stained glass windows, I sat down with Deacon Stanley Gallison, the director of the building. The beauty of, of, the, uh, of the building is the chapel itself. It's at the center of the building and the stained glass windows reflect part of that building. All of the stained glass windows here depict uh, Christ in his church. Deacon Gallison tells me a Lithuanian American artist designed them and they were installed in the early 1970s. Each of the 12 windows surrounding the chapel has a theme from the New Testament. The top panels show biblical quotes and depictions of Christ, while the bottom panels are modern day interpretations. This window with the quote from Matthew's Gospel, Teach Ye All Nations, shows Christ speaking to his apostles, while Pope Paul VI is depicted on the bottom addressing the United Nations in 1965. Several of the windows depict the life of a priest, such as baptizing a child can celebrating mass and this window with the quote and he himself withdrew and began to pray from Luke's gospel. Fittingly enough the depiction is a seminarian at prayer because the building originally opened up as the college seminary and it is still a seminary formation program for men who are trying to receive their undergraduate degree and then go on to the major seminary. When asked which one he admires most, Deacon Gallison pointed to the first window on the right when entering the chapel from the hallway. The favorite window would be the window of Christ at the resurrection. Uh, I am the resurrection and the life. That says it all for itself. There is no modern interpretation of it because we believe that Jesus is and uh, is the resurrection and the life for all of us. Reporting for Currents from Douglaston, I'm Tim Harfman.